Good morning, everybody, and welcome to this webinar on behalf of Phoenix and XRIDE. We're just going to wait five minutes to give everybody the chance to get set up, get dialed in, get their connection all nice and ready. So please bear with us while we just wait for five minutes uh, and, and we'll start at nine, um, in five minutes. Thank you very much. Good morning, everybody. And just for those of the those of the of you that have just joined, we're just going to wait a couple more minutes uh, until we give everybody the chance to join in. Uh, so please bear with us just for two or three minutes, and then we'll start then. Okay, we've waited five minutes now, so 
Good morning, good afternoon, and welcome everybody on behalf of Phoenix and Xright. Can I welcome you to this uh, webinar? Uh, can I please pass you on to Afsal Kotal from Phoenix to begin? Afsal. You're muted, Afsal. Thank you very much, uh, Martin. Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm Abzal Kotal here from Phoenix Color Technologies. And it gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to the series of uh, knowledge transfer webinars, which we are jointly organizing with our partner, Ms. x Right Phantom. Uh, we are also delighted to see uh, so many participants for our webinars. Uh, we used to do these webinars prior to the pandemic in Dubai every quarter with live interactive sessions. Uh, but in order to continue this uh, nice initiative during this pandemic, we are now doing this uh, using the web. Uh, we had planned four webinars in this quarter. We finished three of them. One was for understanding how to use exact to its optimal capabilities in your uh, ink room and press room. And another was on setting up your ink kitchen uh, to formulate uh, spot color inks uh, very quick and accurately, as well as to save your ink costs by reducing leftovers from the press room. Uh, the third one was to uh, was on how to use x right scanning solutions to automate your press room with ink preset and SIP3 closed loop color control in offset, and also how to use a scan solution in your flexible packaging uh, production environment. Uh, please note that all these webinars are recorded and you can access them uh, to have a look and come back to us if you have any queries or if you need further clarity, uh, further information on any of these topics. Uh, our webinar today is uh, for how to print for brand owners as per their expectations, uh, as uh, it is the, the color management maturity levels are evolving across the globe due to, uh, especially due to the pandemic where the brand owners cannot come on site for approvals, etc and um, or also how to streamline your internal color communications and color reproduction in a very professional manner i'm handing over to mr martin who's our regional sales manager from x right Pantone, to speak about our partnership and further plans martin over thank you thank you very much Afsal. Mm -hmm. so the the program for today which is about the color search suite now the Xright Color Search Suite simplifies color communication across all internal and external stakeholders. Whether you are the largest brand owner to the smallest printer and ink room, Color Search can help you manage and improve your print specifications. So I'm going to give you a little bit of an introduction uh, about the relationship with uh, Phoenix and Xright. Then Afsal is going to give you a theoretical part and a look at the software uh, and then after that Mr. Pramod Haridasan is going to take you through the software live uh, and at the end of that we'll have some time for mm -hmm. questions and answers um, and hopefully a nice cup of tea at the end of it. If you do have questions through the webinar if you use the chat function at the side we will get to your questions if we can at the end if we don't Phoenix will send you an email reply individually to, to each question. So please feel free to put them in the chat. We won't um, we won't have people talking through the mm -hmm. webinar. So just use the chat function uh, and we'll take them up if we can at the end. And if not, we will reply to them all personally. Thank you very much. Next slide, please. So for more than 10 years now, x -Rite and Phoenix have had a long history of successful cooperation in the Middle East Africa region. This success is built on x rights superior products for the colour industry, combined with the sales and technical excellence of the Phoenix team. Phoenix are the exclusive distributor for the complete range of x rite products in the region. And through this unique feature, Phoenix are best placed to validate your current workflows and propose solutions that achieve the maximum value for you. Of course, as Afsal said last year, COVID changed the world and the way we must do business so for this reason, we've adopted this webinar approach and we also call it distance education. We hope to continue these throughout the year. And through this, we can then respect the health of our customers and our colleagues. And one day we'll all get back to sharing a cup of tea together. 
Thank you very much right. for participating and taking the time on behalf of XRI and Phoenix. And I'll now pass you over to Afsal to take you through a theoretical uh, part of the program. Thank you, Afsal. Thank you very much, Martin, uh, for your kind words about our partnership and uh, looking forward to many more years of success together with XRI in supporting printing companies and brands in the region. And uh, yes, we can see some uh, good signs when we watch the Euro Cup. We can see people enjoying the matches live. Uh, I hope it continues and we all have a good time in coming days. Um, so we will start with a presentation. As Martin said, I'll be doing the, uh, the explanation part and Mr. Pramod Haridas, our engineer, will be doing the practical session. Um, hope you are able to see the screen clearly and if you have any problems in seeing the screen you can chat with us on the side so we can help you to resolve those issues. Um, <clears throat> ColorCert is a modular and scalable workflow. That means we have multiple modules in this uh, color workflow solution. You as a printer or a brand owner can buy all of it together or you can buy individual modules which is of use to you in your operations. <clears throat> it helps you to streamline your color communications, starting from specifying the color targets, which is very important, um, and communicating it across your operational teams, like the, uh, the printer. For example, if it's between a brand owner and a printer, the brand owner can specify his color targets by measuring them in his premises and digitizing it and saving it into the color cert repository um, and then publishing it to be made available to his converters across the globe. We will go into more details in the next slides, but I'm just giving you an overview. Or the printer can also do the same. He can have his internal uh, color quality program and he can uh, measure the targets as, as I said and define it as jobs and then publish it to his internal departments like the free press, the proofing, the ink room, and the press room. So as, as I explained, it covers the whole spectrum of operations in a print and packaging converter when it comes to managing colors or communicating colors. It, with this, what it also does is, it's not just communicating colors, it is also allowing the departments to produce their colors by downloading these data in the ink room and the press room, for example, and measure their outputs and save it back into the scorecard system which will allot them a score based on the output quality with reference to the delta e tolerances and a few other parameters which you have set as your quality parameter as shown in the diagram uh, this can be implemented across the packaging supply chain to specify save communicate verify and report report between brand owner and printing companies between printing companies and its internal departments as well as its external suppliers like the plate supplier for Flexo or a cylinder supply for Grevio or ink supplier and paper or material supplies. ColorCert is a quality assurance tool that unites data from accuracy uh, for achieving accuracy across different print processes, substrates and standards. It enables a digital communication of exact color and print requirements by producing real-time data for every job in an easy and understandable dashboard. We will show you the dashboard in the end uh, during the practical session as well. It helps you to manage the complexities of CMYK, extended gamut, and spot color workflows, regardless of printing process, substrate, or industry standard. The next slide, Madhu. ColorCert has become quite popular now. It is becoming kind of a de facto standard in the packaging uh, color environment, and is being adapted by Fortune 500 firms in FMCG and food industry, such as Procter & Gamble, PepsiCo, McDonald's, Coca-Cola, Perfetti, etc. Uh, even we are speaking in, 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 at this point of time, x -Rite is speaking to international brands, and we as Phoenix, as a partner of x -Rite, is, is speaking to the regional brands and, convert, and major converters, and we are uh, hopefully seeing certain implementations in, the pro in progress. And uh, this will help a better communication between brand owners, whether it's regional or international, to communicate colors and to set the expectations which is, which is possible to achieve. 
And some of you who are in the print, uh, printing, who are printing for international brands are already aware of this solution being implemented if they're printing for the brands like McDonald's or Pepsi or Dr. Gamble, etc. Uh, just to give you an idea of what are the modules involved in uh, Color Search, it has pre production modules, it has print production modules, and it has post production modules. Uh, in the pre production modules, it involves the Color Search Manager which were in the QA department or the quality program department of the brand owner or the colors uh, quality department of the printing company can specify the master and dependent colors and its rules for tolerance and scoring. Uh, the color cert manager is, is at the heart of the whole system because you have to have create the master color data inside this manager module. When I say what is a master color data, it means, let's say you have, just to give you a quick example, let's say you have printing for a, a job for Almarai, and uh, it's a yogurt tub, and there is a green, there is a blue, and there is a yellow. So what you have to do is Almarai and you has to decide which is the color that they want to achieve. It can be a Pantone number, it can be an LAB, it can be a printed sample. That has to be measured and saved inside the software, the solid colors and the tints. And this will be kept as the target for the printers with who's printing for them. So you save it in, inside Color Cert, you create a job, you save it inside Color Cert Manager, and then load it up into, upload it up to the Color Cert repository. Uh, the second module which we talk about is a Color Cert Ink Room tool, where you can, which is used by the Ink Room team in your printing environment, where they can produce the colors, they can download the color targets from the Color Cert repository. They can measure the inks that they've produced and they can score, report and save back this data into the scorecard server. So you, you can know on every job whether Ink Room has created or produced the spot colors within the Delta E tolerances which are allowed on a live basis. The next module is the Press Room tool, which is also a, a desktop tool which is available to the Press Room in a computer. Uh, they can connect the exact spectrophotometer to this computer and when they print the job and the OK sheet is done, they can measure the samples by and verify it against the color targets they downloaded from the color cert repository. And once the results are good, they can upload it to the scorecard server. So you have a clear track of what's happening in the press room on a live basis as well. Again, we have the color cert scorecard. Um, module where you, as I said, the, all the scores are uploaded into the scorecard server. And the repository is where you upload all the data and it's a central place where you can download um, uh, the data when you're doing it in the ink room and the press room or in the pre-press of proofing department. What are the benefits of Color Cert? It reduces uh, the non-productive <clears throat> time which occurs in your press room because there is no confusion as to what color has to be followed for, for example, for uh, Procter and Gamble for a particular job with the, the greens, the reds and the blues and the violets because they all are the CMY case. They all come in as a digital data. They can upload, download it to their uh, ink room tool or the press room tool or the spectrophotometers and they can verify it on a live basis. So the, the, the way the colors are communicated is very, uh, very uh, accurate and there is no uh, room for confusion. It brings in higher throughput on presses. It can reduce the need on press approvals. As I said earlier, brand owners are now not really able to come to the press rooms for approvals. So this gives them the confidence that a printer is printing their jobs within the Delta E tolerances by way of the scorecard uh, monitoring. It provides an insight for the brand owner as well as a printer to measure, analyze and improve on each job. They can identify areas which is causing a deviation and they can take corrective actions. It is not a post-mortem, it is mostly on a as I said earlier, you can do it on an immediate basis. Um, the next slide, Malbo. Um, it comes with some uh, really nice options. Uh, once you measure the ta once you do the measurements, you can see the reports um, either in a very detailed numerical uh, or quality overview where you can see um, the, the color which is being measured, what is the delta E achieved, what is the tolerance, and what is uh, basically, um, uh, the, whether it is past the qualification or not. Or you can go into a detailed numerical quality overview where you can check a color with LAB data, with the LCH values, with the deviations, et cetera, as shown at the bottom of this slide. Uh, this means that all the stakeholders, if they have the relevant permission, 
can check the results very easily without being a very technical person. So uh, on the also we have this uh, graphical display which allows you or the operators to see whether the color is right. If not right, how to adjust those colors uh, by way of giving them some training. They can understand if the, the light, the colors has to be made light, it has to be made dark, or it has to be uh, it has to be corrected in some other form like changing the uh, the formulation, etc. The next slide, Margo. <clears throat> Margo, can you move to the next slide? Yeah, thank you. Uh, this is one of the best features uh, that comes with x right solutions. It's called the best match function. With the best match, a press operator can quickly understand whether the ink supplied, let's say we have a violet to achieve on the press with a delta E of 2.5, and he has got the inks from the ink room. When he prints, he can measure the sample, and then the, let's say the delta E is 4.5 instead of 2.5, the delta E, uh, the best match function will tell him what is his current density and what is the delta E. What is that best match means what is the density which will give him the closest match to the uh, uh, to the color target which he's trying to follow and the range in which it can be within the tolerance. If at all the color which is the inks which has been supplied by the ink room cannot be coming close to this del below delta E 2.5, the, the best match function will allow him to understand that this ink has to be reformulated. So it does not require for an operator to do a, a, a lot of trial and error to bring a color within the tolerance. The moment he prints to a particular, to a good density, he can check whether this color will come within the delta E tolerances uh, specified in the job or he is totally out of tolerance. So this makes a, a quicker corrective action to be implemented, or he knows that he can produce the job without any problem to the same ink supply. It's, uh, it's a very good feature. If anybody has any doubts, you can contact us. We can explain this to you in detail. And I would request you to implement this in your, in your plans if you're not using it with the exact spectrophotometer or the color cert tools. The next uh, slide, Malgo. It, uh, the ink room tool, uh, for example, allows the ink room technician or the, uh, or the, uh, the press room tool helps the press operator to take a quick offline measurement of single colors in between the specified SOP measurements. It has a very nice LAB graph viewer, which allows the press operator to evaluate how to get to the target color. Similar to the, uh, the best match, you can also view the lab graph and understand whether, as I said earlier, you have to increase the depth of uh, the density or you have to reduce it or uh, you need to uh, add a particular color into a formulation to get the results uh, within the tolerance. It can generate a PDF report if the press room or the ink room wants to keep a report of these jobs by themselves, they can generate and keep a PDF report of single color evaluation and performances as well. It, uh, these, uh, the ink room and the press room tool can integrate with the ink formulation software. What it means is let's say the the press room is printing a, a color, let's say it's a green, and they are at a delta E of 4.2, and they want to bring it down to 2.5, and the best match says you cannot reach below three delta E. So they can send this data back uh, to request for a correction into ink formulation directly from the press room tool, and the ink formulation can create a correction recipe, so that can be taken to the press room immediately. So there is no verbal communication or uh, discussions required for ink formulation team or the ink room team to uh, adapt the recipe to the new requirements. The next slide, Margo. <clears throat> we have a, a tool called the Color Cert QA tool. If you want to enter into the Color Cert world with a small investment, you can go into the Color Cert QA module. It is a, a nice entry module and um, where, they, where you can create uh, single color measurements, you can create single color light you can create a color library based on customer for example you have as i said um, uh, uh, for example aujan as a customer you can create multiple colors inside aujan and you can save it so the qa team can measure those uh, verify those within tolerances or not within tolerance you can adapt the best match integration inside that you can um, integrate it with the exact you can actually uh, 
search for Pantone, let's say you have a new color from a customer, you can measure that sample color or put the LAB or choose it from the del uh, Pantone library. It will tell you if you already have this color in the database or of your, of your uh, uh, printing company so that you don't have to create a new name and save it. So you can reduce the number of spot colors that you have in your company. Um, it will also provide some basic reporting tools. It is also possible for you to upgrade this to the color search suit. Uh, we will be showing a little bit of this in the, in the, in the practical sessions for you to understand more about this. Uh, as I said, it's a very nice tool to enter into the color search um, um, workflow as a, as a, with a lower cost. Uh, it has got some nice um, uh, display, graphical displays. As I said earlier, it can show uh, the best match function. It can show the, the reports. Uh, it can show the lab graph, etc., as well inside this. The next slide, Margot. The licensing of QA tool, uh, just to show you, uh, basically comes, um, it comes free of cost inside the ColorCert Manager module. Uh, it also comes free, of course, inside the press room module. But if you want, you can also buy it as a standalone module. So if you have already bought a color set manager, the QA tool is inside. If you have already got a press room license of color set, you already got, you have a free QA tool inside. But if you don't have any of these, you only have an exact, and you want to add a QA tool, you can buy the standalone module of color set QA. The next slide, Margot. Yes, um, so as I said earlier, uh, the workflow is basically creating the color targets and with the color cert manager, the QC team in the, in the print converter or the brand owner can do it, but they need the space to save it. They don't want to save it in a computer in a folder. So we have the cloud-based color cert repository server, which is basically uh, a centralized access uh, to, uh, uh, to save all this data and uh, of, of one company, one site or multiple sites, ensuring the most up-to-date uh, colored assets are available for the team members involved in production. Uh, it, it basically improves the quality assurance for customers where these assets play a key role in the provision and quality of printed products. Um, whether a business single unit, as I said, or a multi-site, multi uh, growing or consolidating color set repository and the workflow optimized with it uh, can ensure that quality processes are performing to accept the expectations and there is no wrong data being supplied to anybody in the supply chain. So color set repository is a very secure way of uh, storing your color assets and um, uh, your artworks, your SOPs and other job related ma materials in a single location. And uh, the security is because uh, Xrite is uh, doing it with some of the inter major uh, uh, cloud solution providers in the world. The next slide, Margot. Uh, the Color Search Scorecard is a hosted reporting platform. It uses a best in class, high secure cloud infrastructure like the Color Search repository to provide a centralized location to post all of your press run data from one press or to uh, many presses. Uh, which is spread across multiple locations. Uh, what is the benefit? The benefit is uh, the management or the QA or the production management or the operators can see or and evaluate how they're performing across different jobs or for a particular customer or on a particular machine or with a particular ink suppliers things. So you can, you can basically configure these reports according to your requirements. Uh, the premise of scorecard server is to identify how well a press run is achieved the print specifications defined in the color search job. Uh, the dynamic scoring system uh, directly aligns to your tolerances, which directly translate to your overall score. You're always printing to your, uh, to your tolerances and not on an arbitrary score. That means, let's say you started using color search and your score in the beginning, let's say 65, then you can evaluate why you are at 65 and then you can take corrective actions to bring it up to 70, 75, and over a period of time, bring it over 95 percentage. Uh, this allows your press operator to focus on the expectations of the customer and not a score. This also allows you to do a fair and equal comparison between uh, of all jobs across your organization. Uh, this allows you to quickly identify areas of improvement, as I said, and track the success of corrective actions over time. 
So it gives a clear, uh, a clear uh, structure for the quality team to see where you are, uh, how to take it forward, and and what are the uh, what are the actions to be taken to reach the uh, the better scores that you want. Uh, this gives if you have such a system and if you're able to show it to the brand owners, I'm sure they'll be uh, happy to uh, to collaborate with you more. Uh, the scorecard server tracks print performance utilizing the same categories used in desktop tools that is the primaries the spot colors the dot gains etc and the delta e colors for a specific press run as well as a timeline view of all printed colors across your entire operations you are also able to invite your customers to view the uh, the, the scorecard um, uh, so uh, if you wish to socialize with your customer with with your scoring and uh, during your important meetings you can bring it to the meeting room as well uh, the scorecard allows converters to better understand expectations, uh, monitor print quality on press, and report data instantly. Uh, it basically um, helps you to um, uh, better manage the complexities of CMYK extended gamut and spot color workflows, regardless of printing process, substrate, or industry standard. The next slide, Margot. What are the potential benefits in, in terms of uh, implementing a color search solution? We have done, as I said earlier, there are many uh, international uh, supply chain uh, FMCG companies and uh, who has implemented this. And based on their feedback, we have some uh, finding here. Uh, it allows you to come to color faster with best match. Average 10% time savings with the best match function itself. Um, uh, with uh, proper color communication also it, it helps you to save time uh, some of the global uh, brand uh, beverage brand reduce attendance on the press runs for approvals by 75 percent and even without sending their people to the press room uh, they were able to achieve very high scores um, uh, and get the right quality that they wanted uh, without a physical presence in the press site um, it allows to reduce the amount of back and forth communications regarding a color that while it has to be a little bit uh, bluish or reddish no you 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 basically communicate in in a scientific way by measuring the color getting an lab uh, and then um, or a spectral value and basically communicating based on that without verbal or with a printed sample etc which is uh, which can create uh, communication issues uh, it helps in improving productivity and material usage uh, when we do this implementation, we also do, as, as Martin said in the beginning, we do an audit of your process. Okay, we check how your design software is set, how your prepress software is set, um, uh, whether your prepress is generating a proof which is matching to the customer uh, sample, expected sample colors. Um, if your ink room is pro producing the inks right, if your press room is printing to the right standards, if your analogs are okay, uh, or your your printing offset blankets, pH conductivity, we do an audit to understand where you are in the beginning, and we give you kind of a gap analysis to tell you these are things which you have to do before implementing a color set project. We are doing it with a few companies in the region, some of the big converters, and I'm sure they're happy with what we are doing together with them. Now, what is what is happening is in the region we, we com commonly come across a situation where all the color matching responsibility is given to the print room the press room we are basically having to understand that the pre-print production is very crucial for the press room to produce within the allowed make ready time and within the allowed material that they are allotted for making the make ready. If your pre-press is not doing the functions right, if your ink room is not doing the functions right, you have a lot of wastage of time, material, and resources in the production production room. So um, I, 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 will, um, I would also like to tell you that some of the top CPG brands improve color accuracy and consistency between suppliers up to 85%. That means, uh, let's say there are three print converters, A, B, C, before one was printing uh, 65 scores, somebody was printing 75, somebody was printing 85. Now all of them has come to the levels of 85%. Or one printing company's multiple sites printing for the same brand, all have come and started giving the same quality because of uh, the implementation. Some of the major pharma industry companies also has improved their delta E tolerances from between four and two, between from four to uh, below two delta E tolerance. Um, I would request you uh, to uh, contact us if you need to know more about Color Cert. We are very happy to assist you. And uh, thank you very much um, uh, for listening to me. I would like to hand over the mic to Mr. Pramod Haridas, who is our technical engineer. Pramod, over to you. Good 
good morning all good afternoon all thank you absal thank you martin for the introduction and the theory part so uh, i would like to take you all through the practical set already the absal explained some theory uh, part so hope everyone can see my screen if not just uh, you can put it in the chat window or uh, in, during my session if you have any questions you can uh, mention the question as well in the chat window on the right side you can find the chat window so we will come back with the answer on the end of this session so i would like to uh, i have my software here color set manager i'm using color set manager software here so what i will do is i will take a role of a brand manager or a qc manager and later i will take the role of a press room a press room quality guy or a press room operator so first i would like to be a, a brand manager so as a brand manager i have to make a ccj job ccj means color set job this is a um, job which contains targets and uh, the tolerance and the job details so first i need to make a uh, ccj job for my brand or my product so to make a ccj uh, i need my color targets i have to create color targets i have to define the tolerance so ccj can be divided into three parts one is metadata another one is profile and another one is role so the profile includes color targets lab targets load game targets undertone targets everything includes in the profile and the role includes the uh, tolerances on what tolerance i need my colors so that i can decide as a brand owner i can decide so here in the editor area you will get editor when you are uh, using a manager version so in the editor you can edit your profiles or you can create your profile so i opened profile editor so i have already a profile over here related to my job so my job having four colors emyk plus two pantone color pantone 432 and sand 514 so i have added uh, this lab values my targets so this is what the target i need to follow by my printers so here for the cmyk targets i have mentioned my cmyk target as well so if my custom my printer is following all these targets i will get my product without any error and i will get my uh, product with a very good quality so to ensure uh, my product quality i have only this option so i will share these values with the, my uh, printer so here i have made a profile so the same way i can create a rule as well so in this rule i can define what is the target has to follow by the print desk so i'm opening uh, so this is what the rule editor in the rules um, we can see that uh, substrate i'm including in source so primary is what is the target need to follow so i will open a rule then you will get under so here you can see that this is what the target i'm giving 2.5 la uh, delta a for Uh, my print desk. So, if you want to make it more uh, more critical or more uh, accurate, some colors. For example, if you are very important, some Pantone colors. So, you can make the tolerance value into quite high, uh, like delta I very less delta I values. So, and I can define what is the gray balance to follow, what is the dot gain has to follow, what is the dot gain uh, targets. and here i can mention my score card details as well so once they finish their measurement i will get the, those data into my cloud based score card system so once i finalize uh, the profile and the rule i can generate a job so to generate a job you can create a job setup wizard and select select your rule and uh, profile so your rule and profile will be loaded here so you can see that the same colors four color and two sport colors is loaded so just click on continue here you can mention your job name so i'm putting a job phoenix job one and job number and this putting 1 2 3 4 5 customer and then x ray so this way you can also uh, include your details so this is called metadata of the job so i have made a uh, 
I have entered all the details. I can add my uh, job file as well. So I have my job file here. So I can add job file as well. Just click on continue. It will save as a CCJ. You can see the format is CCJ. So this uh, CCJ you can save into your computer and later you can upload it into a repository server. So to upload repository, you will get a user ID and login. And to access the file by the trust, they will also get a user ID and password to login into Colorset. Or you can send it through email. So this is what a brand manager has to do. Brand manager or QC manager has to do. You want to create the targets to followed by the ping room or by the press room. So here uh, as a brand owner, I have made uh, my targets and I have assigned my uh, Delta E tolerance to follow. So, um, I can share this with my customers. So when it comes to a press room, for them, uh, the interface will be like this. It is, means press room point. So in the, here also you will get the QA tool and in room tool. When it comes to uh, a manager, you will get more tools over here. And you don't have the uh, editor editing facility when you are using press room point. So here uh, I have my press room. So I will load the job from my brand owner. So no, no one else. I will, uh, I will act as a press room guy. So in the press room, I, uh, I have to load the job. So to print a job, I need targets. So the target which is already shared by the brand owner. So just open that job. So once you open the job, uh, you can see the job uh, in details and the artwork. So you can see the artwork. Um, as a preview so you can make sure uh, that this is the same job you are going to print so i just uh, this is what my my job okay so if you go to the press setup you can enter uh, the details like uh, what is the pressure you followed and what is the um, which blanket you use the temperature ph conductivity you maintain and the machine number of units sequence everything you can enter in this uh, press setup tab it is called metadata of the job. The benefit of entering metadata, so if, if this job comes again for the reprint, you can simply open this job and you will get all the previous uh, parameters you have followed. You don't want to maintain a book or something. Uh, if you go to the press, you can see that the operator is mentioning the job name, number of unit, color followed, everything in a book. So there is a chance of missing data or uh, confusions, everything. So when you are following this way, you will get all this data while you uh, you go for a reprint. So you don't want to enter any manual. Uh, you don't want to write over any book or some documents. So it will be here only. So next thing I have to uh, measure against my target. So if you can click on primaries, you can see the colors and that uh, delta E tolerance. So here you can see. So if you go to numbers, you can see the LAB targets which you need to follow. Even in the spot color, also you can see the LAB value you need to follow. So you can simply measure it. Just click on measure tool. So it will ask you to uh, select the um, select the color bar. So before that, I have a, a printed sheet over here. So I will print my first sheet. Hope everyone can see this. So I have a printed sheet with me. This is what my first uh, output from operator. After my gradient load, he, he made colors level and he given this sheet to me to measure it. So as a quality inspector, I have to measure or an operator, I have to measure this and verify against the target given by the um, brand owner or the QC manager. So here, uh, either you can measure this color bar or if you don't have the space, you can put in the uh, pasting flap. So in this pasting flap, you can see that it includes all the colors 50 percentage of cyan, magenta, yellow, black, and solids uh, colors you can see here. So uh, just you need to measure. So click on measure. I have connected my XR. I'm using XR device. You can see there's a green symbol which is indicating that your device is connected. So I have my XR device with me and with a scan bit. So for me, it is very easy to measure because this is scan bit. So you don't want to measure individual patch. If you, you can measure individual patch as well. It is so if you want to measure patch by patch, select patch by patch, or uh, based on upon your color bar, you can decide single row, single row or two parts. So my one is single row. I'm just just selected single row. 
It is asking me to measure the substrate now. I'll measure the substrate. Yeah, so now I'm set to measure my color bar. I just I will just scan my color bar now. So I have measured my uh, color bar. So all the targets are uh, ended against the color bar. So you can see this is where the color uh, I have measured. So uh, I have measured my color bar within three seconds. So once you done your measurement, go to primaries and analyze your values. So here you can see that you have printed cyan with a delta I of 1.43. It is quite okay because your target is 2.50. If you click on magenta, you are printed with a uh, delta F 1.58 and yellow with 1.16, black with 1.93. Here in the right side, you can see your cold liquid level in a graphical way of representation. So there is there is a scope of improvement again. So let's see what is that improvement. If you click on cyan, uh, go to guidance, guidance on the bottom. You can see that the present delta you printed is 1.44 and density is 1.43. You are able to reduce your density up to 1.38 we can achieve a delta of 1.18 so by this window uh, an operator can easily understand we just want to reduce and then you will we will get a better score and we, we can we can we can uh, make our print more closer to the brand expectation so it's the same way if you click on magenta also there is no other better recommendation black also if you reduce into a little density you will get a better delta I. so this way it will give you a uh, best match window so uh, in this case our cmyk is all passing uh, you can see a green tick over here which is indicating your cmy primary colors are passed so go to dot gain dot gain also passed so uh, i'm safe with my uptone area because it is not filling because uh, the dot gain values are perfect to the expected uh, target. So if you go to the sport colors, here you can see that Pantone 432 is failed. Expected delta was 2.50, but printed is 2.84. Let's see what is the issue. If you click on the Pantone 432, it will show you a best match. So what it is saying is, you are printed with a density of 1.40, and your delta is 2.85. So just reduce your density, you will get a delta of 2.45. So we don't want to play with this ink, just want to reduce the um, density. So, so you will get a better delta I. So we can, by, by simply analyzing this, operator can reduce the density. And in the visual checkup, you have to make sure your registration is perfect and visual defects. So my, uh, I will give a rating of four because my sport color is not matched it is almost there in the border that's why i give four uh, rating for my job and uh, defects there is no defect so far so just click on your visual inspection then go to summary click on this it is acceptable with a 69 uh, score so only one issue is reported that also in the border because you can see that if it is a major critical issue the red symbol up to this now it is just a, a small issue that's why they accepted this job and you will get a score of 69 but you cannot stop your uh, improving here you have to improve the sport color so you can instruct your operator and the operator will adjust and the operator will run another set of sheets so then you will come with the second sheet you have to measure the second sheet now so i have uh, the color bar here so i will measure my i will save the first roll first first palette first so I'll, I'll just save this i have saved my first palette i'm going to measure the second sheet now so i will measure again with my exact scan i have measured so operator is uh, made my colors okay see you can see now sport color is passing he is reduced density and you got a delta of 1.30 and the dot gain primary is before also passing no also it's fast so dot gain sport colors everything is fast so uh, my operator is easily adjusted by looking into the best match window and i got all the colors fast so here i can confirm that i am printed a job uh, with with everything within the target and it is 
um, meeting the expectation of my brand owner or my QC manager. So in the visual checkup, you can uh, check the registration and I'm giving a rating of five because my all of the content is okay and there is no defect, I click done. So I have finished my visual checkup. If you click on your second role, you can see the score of second role. So I will just save it as a palette again. So I got 84 score for my second job. Second row. So this is the way you have to improve your uh, uh, printed output. So 84 is a quite reasonable high better score, and uh, uh, you can you can say that you're printed within the target, and everything is uh, as per the client expectation, and my job is matching with the customer expectation. So once you finalize, so this way you have to measure a number of pallets actually. If you are printing for a uh, long run job, every hour you have to measure each pallet which is indicating uh, one sheet from each pallet, which is indicating that you are maintained the entire load with the same stability and within the tolerance. So when when brand owner looking into this data, brand owner also will be happy uh, regarding your performance. So this way you have to measure. If it is a short run job, you have to measure one in the beginning, one in the mid and one in the end of the job. So this way, maybe if it is a long run job, you will get up to 10 pallet, uh, measurements which is indicating the stability of your production so if we go to the scorecard this is where the average score for your job it is consisting uh, first roll and second roll so if you measure 10 roll it will give you the average of 10 roll so this way you have to uh, print your job so once you complete the job click on complete job so just confirm about your completion so it will ask you can i send this uh, data into the scorecard if i send now it will received by your brand owner he can analyze or your qc manager he can analyze the performance so just uh, click on send now it will send so this way you can analyze and transfer the data out to the brand manager so and one more thing uh, before printing before starting your job i will always recommend to test your ink that your ink is perfect or not you have to make sure your ink behavior so to ensure that ink behavior there's a tool called ink room tools so click on ink room tools so here you can find all the colors involved in this job so for example i have a drawdown of 432 so i can measure my phantom 432 drawdown against this target so i'm measuring this against my target so my drawdown is not passing it is giving 2.60 delta i which is indicating you cannot proceed with this ink you have to fix the ink first before proceeding to the job so in this window you have to make sure that your inks are passing so you don't want to waste your time on machine by uh, measuring the score or by checking the score if you are getting a green tick over here then you can proceed for example i have uh, i have corrected my recipe and i have measured again so I got 1.12. This is quite okay. I'm uh, safe to go for the production. So you can generate a report as an in-room person. In-room person can generate a report. So I will generate this report in the desktop. So in-room report of Phantom 432. So, so you oh, can see that. Ramod, uh, we're just running short of time a little bit. So just, uh, just, just five minutes now, please. Yeah. Thank you for the reminder. Yeah. So this way you can uh, generate the uh, report actually so this you can hand over to the another department if it is uh, and you can keep it as a record and uh, another uh, so for your internal purpose if you want to save the uh, scorecard you can save scorecard as a snapshot so here there is an option to save scorecard as a snapshot so you will get a scorecard and the job image and the score 77 this way you will get a scorecard as well so this color set software is connected to the pantone live so if your brand owner is sharing any pantone live colors it will easily detect and you can open that colors in the in this and in this uh, repository tab you can you can enter your user id and password to access the files so this is what the uh, overview of a color set software so I will take you to the QA tool very quickly. I will finish finish this. 
Pure tool is a very interesting tool. This can be used internally for your ensuring the colors and making generating the report. So here, this is what the interface of QA tool. Here you can select customer, you can select uh, a project. And uh, so each customer, under each customer, you can add different standards. For example, if I'm, uh, if I'm, I'm not selecting any standard on any project, just I'm measuring a color. So it will automatically detect the nearest target from the standard database. So here you can see that it is detected with Pantone 7514 uh, with a customer under Phoenix. So you can just simply select. So it will show you a uh, report like this. So if you measure your substrate, you can see the best match as well. I measured my substrate. So you can see the best match as well. So this way you can generate a report. So if you go to the reporting tool, you can print this screen. And if you go to the database, there are, you can edit your customers, you can edit your standards, you can generate your projects. There are many options. So, and here there are many other windows. You can, uh, you can configure your window based on your requirement. So there are many multiple windows over here. And here uh, you can see press room density, press behavior, and uh, so there is a visual comparison as well so in room tab this way you can generate a report and it will give you uh, multiple reading if you measured uh, last month one reading and this month again another reading so the it is maintaining the uh, record as well if you go to the reporting print screen pdf it will generate a pdf pdf of this window i'll show you how it looks it will generate a PDF of this window like this with the, all the details. So hope uh, everyone is clear with the workflow of a uh, brand owner and a press room operator or press room QC person. So brand owner can generate its standards and share with the press room. Press room can simply access that file and measure the values and upload it again into the uh, again scorecard. So the scorecard a brand owner can access their scorecard in a web-based system. In this way, his brand owner or QC manager can access the scorecard. Like Afsal said, we, we can get each month June uh, report, July report, and last 12 months, and the overall performance. This way, you will get the uh, update as well. So thank you all. If, uh, if you have any questions, you can just uh, mention in the chat window. We can clarify now. And yeah, that's it. Malgo. Yeah, we have Thank time you for much. much. We have a question uh, which was already answered. Uh, how we can measure strips continuous, continuously using exact? Um, probably you can explain how we can. So how we can the same measure thing. Now I have my exact scan uh, device with me. So if you have a scan base like this, you can simply scan it with the software so this is the way you can measure uh, a strip in a single shot you can simply add the scanning option to the normal scan you can buy the upgrade and uh, and make from your uh, from your instrument the scanning instrument it, it is a easy yeah. and phoenix will for sure help you to do it yeah and if you want to uh, see it uh, on a separate session you can contact us we will definitely be happy to show it and yeah yeah Marco? we have another question uh we do have license for hobby and is this complete I don't really understand the question but uh, yeah i understand the question they are printing for heavy micronuts so uh, they have a press room client, so they will get a uh, they will get press room QA tool and in group. Okay, it is a question for Ahmad. So if, if they can uh, contact us directly, we can connect and uh, ensure. Do they have manager version? Of, we can connect and check that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we have. Do you have? If you have more questions please write it on the questions panel or chat panel and we'll, we can answer 
them now or we can um, or you can come back to Phoenix and Phoenix come back to, can come back to you and answer your questions. But thank you very much for the presentation. Now we have uh, we have uh, we have questions to you. Uh, we would like to open some kind of polls and on, you have only to click on the right answer and we'll get the feedback from you because it's good to have a feedback from the audience. I will open, I will launch um, um, our polls, our questions, and I will kindly ask you to, to answer these questions. I will launch the first poll and you have some seconds to answer. I launch the first poll now. Please click on the right answer on your on your screen using mouse and we'll get an answer from you. Yeah, please click on and answer the question. Okay. I close I close it now and I launch next poll. Please click on the answer. And we have again some seconds to answer the question. Okay, we close the poll now. We have a next one. Okay, thank you. I'll, I'll open the next one. Okay, thank you. The next question. Okay, next one, please. The same color, it means the same color. It was a long question. We are talking about color. Basically, uh, what we are saying is if you have a brand owner who is not really giving proper targets to uh, to uh, to uh, to uh, produce, uh, you will be having a lot of confusion. Instead of that, if you if you can speak, speak to them about color targets, uh, color exchange format, measuring, uh, digitizing the color targets. If you are unable to do it, you need help from us. We are always ready to assist you.
Okay, and we have the last questions, uh, two last questions, sorry, for you. Uh, this question is very relevant because x uh, constantly uh, is in touch with international brand owners and educating them on how important is, it is to digitize color targets and review scores with reference to Delta E's and achieve maximum quality. So if, you, if your name comes there, possibly they can say there are companies who are interested to print within specifications. Thank you very much. And we have a last one. Okay, thank you very much. We'll close our polls and uh, we'll give you the we'll give you the word to resume the session. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you, Margot. Uh, Martin. Yes, as yeah. you can see, as you can see, very well explained by Pramod and Afsal. Um, Kulasa is and can be something for if you're a global brand owner. But it can be something if you're a single spot color printer. Um, this is a this is a tool that can work for you on and is scalable to any size. Um, I want to thank you all very much for your participation today. I want to thank Pramod for an excellent presentation and also Afsal. Thank you. That was very well explained for the for the uh, for the solution. I also want to personally thank Margot who's been backstage for organizing all these webinars and she's been the real driving force behind those uh, and I'd like to thank you guys all the customers for taking the time out of your busy days to speak with us and listen to us and if you have any questions please come to the Phoenix team they're very good at this pr uh, product they're very good at supplying you solutions that will bring you value uh, and I and I, I would um, Ask you to please get in touch with them. They're very helpful, very knowledgeable, uh, and very respected in the region. Thank you very much. Thank you, Martin. Thank you very much, everyone. Really appreciate your presence and uh, support for these webinars. Um, have a nice day and keep safe. Thank you. And the rest of questions, thank you very much, all of you. And the rest of questions will be answered directly. Uh, to, to the person who asked because we have unfortunately we don't have time to answer now but Phoenix will come back to you thank, thank you. you very much thank you thanks bye bye